Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Witch City Open 2022 live here on USA Darts. Time for a little youth adult this morning. We figured we'd crank it on and have some fun with it as we're getting these 12 and under players in the mix right now. Good to see these youngsters playing. Gotta love it. This is Mr. Jeremy Deemers here, and he's teamed up with Bruce Robbins. And we got Tatiana Ragland and uh, Terry Godsey. That's the other team here. So this is Tatiana, and I gotta tell you, she took a nice out in the last leg, and it was a, a, a nice little crowd erupted in the background, so that was nice to see. But I wanted to say uh, we're going to go ahead and upload some pictures to our YouTube and Facebook, or sorry, our Facebook platform from this uh, event. So we'll be doing that in the background. We will turn on some music and kind of let this play out. I'll do some camera work so that we can see um, a little bit better view of these kiddos because we're going to be dealing with the adults and the youths. Is I think Jason actually just took that out. It's, it's a 501 single or uh, single out for these youngsters. They do have to take the out. So that is something uh, to say there is they're, they're going to have to take the check out. Um, we, we're playing 501 cricket choice here. So best two out of three legs just to let you know. But we're going to go ahead and get a better view of Miss Tatiana as that one's not going to work. They're going to have to diddle and get the out. They have to diddle, start, and get the out, I'm pretty sure, um, from my understanding. As that one's inside the ring, that one's going to count. Jeremy Deemers is going to go ahead and get that one, though. We're going to go ahead and turn on some background music and let this play out. I'll do some camera angles so we can kind of see these players a little bit better. Appreciate you being here this morning and supporting these youth players. That's the main thing. We want to get them on the stream, uh, let them experience this for themselves. It's, it's a different deal being on the stream. That's, that's for sure. It's a little bit different. Um, but... We want to support them in their effort to grow the game. So we're here doing that today. Hope you enjoy this as we will bring you more coverage uh, throughout the day of numerous events. So uh, just something to look forward to as we continue on.
Alrighty, folks. Wanted to run out there and give Carrie some stuff for the kiddos if they want some of the uh, stickers and stuff. But we had a question from George Darts. Why not the men's doubles? We'll be seeing the men's doubles um, down the road as we're kind of working in those uh, round one, two, three matches, and I'm sure we'll get the top 16 uh, here on the stream. But we figured it's kind of important to show off a little bit of this youth action as um, Men and Men Dart League has had a massive, um, a massive amount of players involved in the uh, system. But they're trying to regrow that youth system to develop the players to continue to grow the game. So if you have a kiddo, Get them involved. This is the 12 and under bracket. They did have a 13 and over bracket. Now, unfortunately, I'll tell you this. I mean, he is a youth. PJ Stewart and David Carpenter <laughs> won that one. Um, going up against Jim Fitzsimmons and Jimmy Fitzsimmons. So that was quite the duel. Um, by the time we got in here and we're about to kick on, it was like, oh, they, they're already done. Never mind. Okay, we can't do that one. It went so quick. Nice to feature this one with uh, Bruce Robbins, Jason Deemers, um, or Jason, Jeremy Deemers, Tatiana Raglan, and Terry G Godson. As they will, uh, the winner of this one will play, which is going to be Bruce Robbins and Jeremy, will play Noah Coleman and Jason Dags Dagnaw in the finals, which we'll see coming up here next on our streaming board. So just a reminder, it's 501 single out. The kiddos do have to bowl up, and they have to start, I believe, and they also have to finish the game. So um, it's forcing those kiddos to make those game-winning darts, and you see to see how much it means to them as well. And I think we're actually going to head on over to this because I wanted to – well, hopefully we can do that. Let's see. There we go. Yes, beautiful. There's Tatiana and Terry. Kudos to those two ladies. And look at that smiling face. That's what it's all about, folks. That's what it's all about. Look at the high fives all around from everybody. Dagnaw getting in there, doing the same. That is what this is about, folks. Growing the game, seeing those meaningful darts. And we're about to see some more here in just a second. It'll be Noah Coleman, J. Jason Dagnaw taking on Bruce Robbins and Jeremy Deemers here in just a moment's time. Paul Rogers saying, yes, kids are the future of the game, and people need to see that kids can play. Yes, and I'm going to tell you, Jeremy's a pretty solid shot. Last year I was pretty impressed. He took a 72 out, 16-16, double top right away. I was like, man, that kiddo has got a gift, 11 years young. But I'm excited to see how Noah throws. I know the capabilities of Bruce and Jason, they're quality shots, so, um, but the kiddos have to do the bulk of the work here. Looking forward to seeing this final here in just a moment's time. We'll be right back, folks, with that. Real quick, giving a shout out to Miss Carrie Deemers right there. She's actually in charge of running the youth events. I believe both here and Seacoast open. So uh, wanted to give her a little love there. She does a lot of hard work for these youth players. And uh, I know it's not easy to do this. So uh, shout out to Carrie on that one. Come on, Noah rocking the USA darts patch or sticker. That's nice. Thanks, Noah. Love that, buddy.
give a little love to our youth competitors here. Danny Lobby back there getting ready for men's doubles. It looks like we're diddling up now, so let's go ahead and take you on over to our board view here. underway in our finals of the 12 and under division Jason Dagnaw, Noah Coleman taking on Jeremy Deemers and Bruce Robbins Dag starting off with a ton Bruce gonna follow it up I know he is he mentioned to me last year he goes yeah, it's just fun and games until somebody pops a ton and then it gets real serious. And look at that. A big answer of a ton 40 there from Bruce. <laughs> he goes, all right, if you're going to do it, I'm going to do it. Let's have some fun with it. Didn't ask how old Noah was. I'm gonna have to assume 10, 11, or 12. Um, he could be deceivingly bigger for his age. You never know, but uh, I do know Jeremy's 11. I'll probably go with 11 or 12 for Noah, honestly. Unfortunate 26 there for Bruce. Looks like a double 19 there. Going for that bottom half of the board. Nothing wrong with it. Dark Players Los Angeles saying, take a good look at young folks. You won't recognize them in a couple years. Correct. Correct. It's crazy. This is the future here. Trying to set up his partner here. I wonder when they elect to let the kiddos step in and, and take out the, the out. Because that's a factor here. When do you let the youth step in? I think they're letting him now. So this is going to be a duel between Noah and Jeremy for the leg. 0-0 zero, zero score line here. So who's going to take our first leg? Gonna be what, 58? He's got 11 left, that's an eight, so needs the three. Unfortunately, not gonna find it here. So 53 needed for Jeremy to take the leg. And once again, folks, it's single out for these youth. So they can hit that fat number and be just fine. 49 remaining, so he's going to go 9 or 19. Ah, he goes 9. He does it the hard way. Okay. Oh. Like I said earlier, uh, he was playing at the Seacoast Open last year and took out a nice 72 
Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be uh, surprised if he took out a nice one dart checkout on the forty. So there's an 18, needs six now. You can see Dags helping him out with his math, making sure he's good to go. That goes outside, looking to recover. Oh, and he hits the double. And there it is. Brucey helping him out as Jeremy Deemers takes out the first leg. Looks like we'll head to cricket as we get some dabs all around. It's game on. Let me go ahead and see if I can uh, get rid of that spam in the chat. There we go, we'll take care of that. Yeah, you can see Jeremy shake that one off, not happy with himself on that. Jason or Jeremy, I, I keep saying Jason. His dad's Jason. He's Jeremy. Um, apparently, he's a competitive baseball player. So the travel ball team, very competitive in sports. And I hear that Jeremy actually took all the events yesterday in the 12 and under uh, youth events. So a little tidbit of information there. Big triple there from Dags on the last dart. No, it's not. Just a three mark there for him. On those 17s is Robbins trying to pad some points now. He gets 51 there. Actually just counts as the uh, 34 needed one to close. Let's look at Dags going for the bowl there. Goes ahead and closes out the 17s. He's going for the 16s here. Needs two to close. He gets the two to close. The Dags, I imagine, will come up here and just go ahead and one-two punch. Get those out of the way. Provide Noah the opportunity to go at the 15s if he so chooses. I think that's smart from Dags. Go ahead and help your help him out with them bulls. I think that's a that can always be a, a butt kicker in the end for these youth. Come on, 
kiddos running behind Bruce. I don't know if he caught that or not. Kind of funny earlier, a couple players were, or a couple teams were playing and you had a bunch of you sprawled out on the floor. <laughs> a couple boards down, <laughs> definitely within view. But they were just having fun, enjoying themselves. We see them running back behind them. They've actually had a little separate area for boards for these youth players all weekend. It's the first time we're seeing them transfer over to the streaming boards. It's always nice to just give them a little love. Show them a little love is, is the main thing we're trying to do. Looks like Bruce and, and Dags are going to step aside. It's and uh, let the kiddos take the reins the rest of the way here. Paul Rogers saying, love the streams, Will Stewart. What you are doing for darts in general, sir. Can't wait to meet you face-to-face -face at Emmys. And sent 200 stars. We appreciate the stars, sir, and the kind words. I got to tell you, it's a, it's a thrilling job. It's, it's a lot of hard work, and it's tiring work, especially when you're doing the one-man band like this weekend. Um, can really catch up on you, but... Uh, I couldn't ask for a better better gig in my life, so thoroughly enjoy it. So Deemers need a 19 and a bowl here. And I think they're just discussing uh, exactly what a good strategy would be because they've got the 15s open if he chooses. So that might be a smart move if he wants to, to go ahead and go at the 15s with the last dart. He does, and he goes ahead and hits the 19, closes those out, went for the bull for the win. And Noah takes out the leg with a single 15. We're going to a last leg decider, folks. Love it. Love it. More bang for your buck, and that's a good dart from Jeremy. That's going to be tough to beat. Noah cannot beat it. So here we go. Jeremy Deemers to start us off here. And they're going to choose Cricket or 01. And they're going to choose Cricket. He's going to look at the 19s to open up a number. Just three. Just a quick mention. Who, uh, Watch the women's series this morning. How about that final between Bo Greaves and Fallon Shirek? That was a thriller as uh, Bo popped that nice 107 average. And things are interesting in the uh, last event here for a world championship spot. Something to keep an eye on today.
relax, give him a little, come on, come on in the background, helping him out. Just above that 18 with his first start. Finds it with the second. He'll try to go down and close those 17s. Not able to. So, Brucey potentially going to go all at the 17s here, I wonder. He may take a shot. 118 will go ahead and close. Yep, I was about to say, he may go ahead and take that opportunity to go ahead and close that number out. Smart move there. I definitely think Bruce and Dags are not trying to get into a <laughs> point battle with these guys. I think they're just going uh, for some simple closes. Let these youth players really do the damage. Nice triple with that dart there. So now he's going to decide, does he go to the 15s? Does he go to the 17s? He's going to go to the 17s to go ahead and try to close that number. <laughs> Paul saying, no, they're not, but the kids sure are. Yeah, these kids, you can tell there's a, there's a lot of meaning and a lot of pride to these to these darts. And Br Bruce will be the first to tell you because he told me last year. Yeah, if they start hitting tons and that other guy's taking it a little serious, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. <laughs> Big triple there. And just chops down the tree. Good move over to the 17s. Go ahead and close. 189 plays 182 here. Brucey to open up the 15s. Double there for Dags. Like I said, if a youth adult, maybe smart to go ahead and try to take a good chunk of those bulls out, maybe leaving the 15s to mess with. We see going all points there, 227, 205 now. Noah looks to the sky. You can see he wanted a little bit more there. Still, still going at it here. Does manage to close those 16s. And a big pop on the 15s. As it looks like Noah is just doing the, the rest of the work here. And that'll be Jeremy the rest of the way, I believe, as well. And he left him, he left him all bulls. So we'll see how this one pans out. Nope, there's Jason. Okay. I was wondering if he's stepping aside, letting Noah do most of the work or not.
unfortunate round there. No score for Jason. <laughs> and then a Bruce laugh. We're just going to go ahead and help out with some bulls here, or at least try to. Yeah, he goes ahead and pops a 15 just for good margin because, uh, yeah, that was a double, and they're not allowed to take that out. So he's going to leave a single bull for Jeremy, potentially, his next go-round to be crowned champions of the youth adult event here for the 12 and under division. Oh, right there. Right above it. Peppering around the bull. Dag stepping out to try to help out with some points here. He's going to go ahead and close the 15s too. So it's going to be a bull battle here. Who's going to take it? Is it going to be Noah? Is it going to be Jeremy? Down to these kiddos now. There is a big bull from Jeremy. As that is going to do it, folks. Your winner, Jeremy Deemers and Bruce Robbins. Good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and do an overhead shot. We'll get a uh, quick view of the kiddos as they grab their awards. Maybe we'll hop out there and do a quick little interview with them. What do you say? Maybe we'll just have some fun with it. Let me run out there. All righty, we're here with our uh, youth adult finalists here, Noah Coleman, Jeremy Deemers, Jason Dagnall, and Bruce Robbins. Guys, how long have you guys been playing? Let's be honest here. Noah, how long have you been playing? Five years. Five years. Okay, and how old are you? I didn't know that. Ten. You're ten. Okay, I was guessing ten, eleven, or twelve. And you're eleven, correct, Jeremy? How long have you been playing? 
Eight years. Eight years. Three. I stopped for three years and then came back. Well, that's the thing about you, youth events. Um, do you play other sports, Noah? What, what else do you play? Baseball, football, and basketball. And what about you, Jeremy? I know you play some other sports. I hear you're a big travel baseball player, huh? Baseball and basketball. Awesome. Awesome. Well, stay with the game, guys. I know you are because uh, you guys are both phenomenal shots already. I'm looking forward to seeing how your game goes in the near future, okay? So congrats to both of you guys. I was about to ask you guys, you guys uh, let these guys do a little bit of the dirty work today. Well, you know how it is. We let the kids do the hard work. They carry us. That's right. Exactly, just fill in. Well, I knew from the very get-go, once you popped a ton and you popped a ton 40, I said, all right, this may be a little serious. What do you, what do you think, Brucey? He started with 100, so, yeah, I'm going to come right at him now. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Well, congrats, kiddos. And, uh, guys, good for you for playing with these kiddos and, and, and getting up early in the morning to do it. So, awesome. Well, thanks, guys, for tuning in. We appreciate it. Good job, guys. All righty, well, that's going to do it for our youth events here, or our youth adult events here at the Witch City Open. So we're going to go ahead and refresh our stream. We'll get this going here with a new feed here in just a moment. So if you have not, give us that like, give us that follow um, as we, uh, you'll get notified whenever we go live next is, I believe I just made a mistake. I said men's doubles. It's actually mixed doubles going on right now, and it's 501. So, uh, yeah, we'll be featuring that one. It looks like we're going to already have a match coming our way. So we'll refresh the stream, get a new uh, event, get a, get a new feed going so we can get a bunch of people in here to cheer on our competitors and watch some darts on a beautiful Sunday here in New Hampshire. New Hampshire, sorry, as I was uh, thinking Nashua, because apparently I've been saying that wrong this whole time. So, all righty, folks, we'll see you in a moment with more darts from which city? <laughs> 